Police filling in as crossing guards now, but only when they're available. One mom says when they're not there, elementary students, they're risking their lives crossing the street between speeding drivers. ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon is live now in Zephyr Hills, breaking down a new plan to keep these kids safe. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning. If you can believe it right now, there is no crossing guard program in Zephyr Hills, but there is one on the way. And here's why this same intersection behind me is the same one. Small children are crossing to get to class every day. Angel English Smith says she fears sending her son across the street. She says he has to dart between speeding cars and she's worried for his safety. ABC Action News even caught a speeding truck yesterday being pulled over by police in this same area. He is a second grader, seven, seven years old, ADHD. I can't expect him to stay on the sidewalk. I just can't. I expect adults to follow the laws. Now, good news, though, Zephyr Hills Police says there will be a new crossing guard program beginning next year. And just three weeks ago, they sent an officer to a crossing guard training with plans to train volunteers in the near future as a more permanent solution. Now, English Smith worries that not enough people will be able to volunteer, but she says this is a step in the right direction.